So friends, starting with the first chapter, Senved Credit. And we will go in this sequence, first Senved Credit, number two service tax, number three central excise, number four customs, number five service tax. Okay. The book is also in the same order. So we are going exactly as per the book. Correct. Come to page number three, chapter number one, page number three. This says what is Senved credit. So in IPCC you have already studied about VAT. We have taxable event for every kind of tax. You have studied about income tax. You have also read about VAT right and you have also gone through basic introduction of indirect taxes excise service tax so for every tax there is a taxable event what is the meaning of taxable event the tax liability accrues when the event happens it need not be payable at the same time but that is the point of time when liability accrues. Say for example income tax, your salary becomes due on first of the month, right? You may get it by 10th of the month, but when the tax is paid, usually deduction for the tax on salary is in the month of January, February and March, right? Liability accrued when you earned but the time of payment is different. Similarly, in case of VAT, the taxable event is sale of the goods. Now, sale happens n number of times in a day. Every time we don't run and de deposit the amount of VAT. Throughout the month, we keep on selling and at the end of month, accumulated amount is paid. Again, there is a difference between lab liability accrual and the pay tax payment. Similarly, in case of excise, what is the taxable event? Manufacture of excisable goods. Liability accrues at that time. Right. When it is to be paid, that we will study later on. In case of service tax, what is the taxable event? It is something tricky. In these three, it is very, very clear when the liability accrues. In case of service tax, Either it is a rendering of services or agreeing to render services. I hope you are aware of that in case of service tax, even when advance payment is received, service tax becomes payable. Why it becomes payable? Because when a person is accepting advance payment for providing the service in future, the taxable event has taken place. He has agreed to provide the service. That is also a taxable event. Services may be given later on after one month, after two months, after six months. But the point of time, the moment of time he accepts a payment for the service or he issues an invoice. He will issue the invoice only when there is an understanding between the service provider and the service receiver. Service receiver is willing to accept that service, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. So either receiving payment or raising invoice, that is an indication of the fact that the service provider has agreed to provide that service. And the service tax becomes payable on that. Right? So Senvet concept is related to excise as well as service tax both. This is something common. Clear? Now, how the things work? Now, say some article is produced. I am just putting the name article. 
and the cost of production of this is rupees 500 cost of production is 500 then the manufacturer adds his profit say he has added his profit rupees 200 his selling price becomes rupees 700 on this selling price excise duty is payable not on the cost of production it is on the selling price so for the purpose of your examination selling price for the normal person for a layman and selling price for you that is different for you selling price is without taxes actually that is assessable value for a layman sell price is inclusive of taxes there are the difference right so here we have selling price 700 now in this we will add excise duty excise duty assuming at the rate of 10 percent 70 rupees added on this there is education says plus shec also those are small figures so i'm not adding those this becomes 770 on this there is a sales tax and this sales tax may be VAT, may be CST. At least one of the taxes is payable. Say if the sale is within the state, then we VAT is payable. If it is intrastate, CST is payable. Something is always there. Let us assume another 35 rupees added. This is assumed a figure, no percentage I have taken. Effectively, it will reach the retailer at 805 then he will add his profit sell to the consumer right now this article can be anything this may be a consumable this may be for long term use in other words we call it capital goods right now what happens Re requirements of manufacturer and service provider what he needs for carrying out manufacture what he needs to carry on business what a person needs to provide services these are same there is no change in that between the two what is needed number one capital goods Number two, there are inputs. Number three, 